Hello, my friends. It's Catherine. It is Tuesday. This is day, I think, five maybe for our family of self isolating. And it is day two of our official attempt to create some sort of homeschooling slash schedule slash order for our five children. Yesterday, we had a schedule, we had a routine, it was amazing. We were like all fired up. Today, it mostly fell apart. Um, we sort of stuck to our schedule, but the novelty had worn off. Nick and I are tired. We're realizing, okay, we cannot sustain this pace. We're gonna have to adjust. Um, and I think everybody is just feeling all of the feels as we come to grip with the enormity of what's happening in the world, but also, you know, in our own little micro world of our family, um, how different life is gonna be if school is truly out for the rest of the year, which is, I think, what's happening here. So I wanted to share with you just a couple um, things that are helping me in the midst of all of this. And if they are useful to you, great. If not, leave them. These are things that are particularly gonna help those of you who are very empathic, um, which is most of my readers, because as we are like to sending all of our antenna and our tendrils out into the world, um, which it feels like is the right thing to do so that we can be informed and get good information, um, what's happening to so many of us is that we're getting incredibly overwhelmed. So we're getting super oversaturated. Um, all the little people in our world are also getting a little bit flooded. And what can happen then is that we all just kind of bounce off of each other in this, this like chaotic <laughs> frenzied way. So if you are the parent or you are the parental figure for your friends, or you are alone and you are parenting the small ones who live inside you, it's even more important that you take a moment to come home to yourself, to bring all of that antenna back, to pull all those tendrils in and just bring everything back in. So imagine that you're like pulling all these like, sensitive, delicate um, tendrils and, and parts of yourself back in. And in order to do this, if you have lots of people at home like I do, this probably means you're gonna need to hide away. I am currently hiding away in my bedroom slash office, but a bathroom will work equally well. And it only takes a minute or two. You don't have to have some elaborate long meditation ritual though. I mean, if you can, fantastic, go for it. Um, but even just a minute or two can really help to reset your nervous system. And I know that some people are really struggling to find the joy in this situation. Others are full of such primal panic around how they're gonna support their families, how they're gonna pay their bills. And, you know, I can, I can alternate between those two realities myself in this moment in time. And I think many of you feel that way too. So just take a minute, pull everything in. It'll still be there. You can tune back out to the world, but just come home to yourself for a minute and put your hand on your heart. Take a few breaths. And breathe it in deeper down into your belly. And repeat after me. They get to have all their feelings and I only have to feel my own. They get to have all their feelings. They can be angry, sad, frantic, freaking out. They get to do that. Our job is not to manage them. It is not to control them. It is not to make them feel better so that we can feel better. Our job is to let them have all their feelings and we only have to feel our own. And when your own feelings start to feel overwhelming and chaotic and panicky, the best thing I know to do is to come back into this body. Um, what do I feel? What do I smell? What do I taste? What can I see? 
Because for most of us right now, in this moment at least, we are actually physically safe. And the more that you can come back to that place of safety, the more we're gonna be able to stay calm, we're gonna be able to create loving boundaries between us and um, whatever is happening around you. And we're gonna be in a better place to do creative problem solving. All right, like I said, it doesn't have to be super long and complicated. It can be just as simple as what I just did. Breathe into your heart, breathe into your belly, remind yourself that I am safe. And then say this mantra, which is for all of my fellow empaths out there. They get to have all their feelings. I only have to feel mine. All right, I love you all. Just to be clear, I am doing this meditation here with you because I needed it myself. So I hope that you feel a little bit better. I know I do. Whatever is happening in your world right now, you're doing a good job. There's no like perfect way to do this. There's no way to win at this. So if it all feels a little bit like a shit show, that's okay. As long as you're breathing, as long as you just keep coming back to yourself, I think you're doing a great job. Hang in there, friends, and I will be back tomorrow. <laughs>